Okay, it's time to go back to Amateur League from Gran Turismo 3 and get uh, Dream Car Championship passed. From all Japan GT Championship I got this beautiful Toyota Denso SARD Supra GT. Yeah, it's a long name, I can tell you that. Luckily it's a race car so all we have to do is to buy a turbo kit. I'm gonna buy this stage 3. We're gonna have over 700 horsepower. I should also think about buying some wheels for this vehicle, but I'm not very uh, the kind of guy who might want to change something like that. These red tires kind of match to this vehicle. So, Dream Car Championship. We don't have five races nor 10 races, we have 7 races, it's a championship, even, it's a championship, yeah. Series of 7 races, we have Deep Forest Raceway, Laguna Seca, Special Stage Route 5, Abrigotti Raceway, Test Course, Special Stage Route 11 and Grand Valley Speedway reversed. Race information, 25,000 for first place, only the 3 places are Mm. With the price for each place, so just like in Gran Turismo All Stars, probably only the podium places are priced. So I'm gonna take mm, take a look into the parts that we had. Yeah, Dream Car Championship. So Dream Car in Polyphony Digital is just are these kind of cars that has been modified by Polyphony Digital themselves. So yeah, it's kind of like uh, LM Edition we can see in Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2, that kind of stuff. Downforce, Assist Stability Management. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a few chances here and change some stuff. Okay, I think it's enough. Okay, so we have a vehicle that have 730 horsepower, it's a very fast Japan GT car, so there ain't gonna be any problems with speed that we can get here, speed, traction and some other stuff. Also right height set to the minimum, so I ain't gonna have any problems with the fact that this vehicle might be difficult to drive. Yeah, it's a deep forest, so we might have also a little problem. A few little jumps, some other stuff. Also, what's so funny is that we have, uh, if I remember right, Tomikaira ZZ2, which is not a dream car, but rather a sports car or even a concept vehicle. In Gran Turismo 2 we had uh, something like a dream car version, possibly, but in Gran Turismo 3 we don't have a dream car, but rather a sports car that was simply placed here. I'm gonna drive this beautiful Tommy Carias as a two in professional Lego. I know I can get this vehicle for free. I can't forget about the fact that I need to make this gearbox uh, wide. Change the width of this. 
gearbox because I'm gonna drive only 300 kilometers before the red line is gonna show up. I've made also this car modified because I don't really care about the other opponents. They will simply just let me win, so... All I have to do is to win this championship. There ain't much else to say. I can't this corner because why not? fast too fast and too wide luckily I also have this Tensor SRD Supra GT and I have a chance to make Deep Forest in less than one minute if I'm lucky and now this car is very fast I have a vehicle with over 700 horsepower, while opponents have 580, something like that. I know that only Tommy Kairas is it too. Got two, got 520. Whatever. I know that. If I got this uh, Japan GT car from the championship I got last time, so during a dream car I would get a dream car. I just hope I'm gonna get Honda S2000. I would rather have Mitsubishi FTO, Mazda X7, maybe even Toyota Alteza LM. I would really like to get. Uh, Rather uh, Mazda RX-7 or Subaru Impreza. I think on Sumo 4 we didn't have them as uh, LM Edition cars, but rather Super Touring cars. Some of them at least. stuff looks easy enough. I only need to drive fast and make sure I'll not do any mistakes. That's all. Again, to wide. So the biggest problem I have? Classic racing tires. The medium ones. No super slicks and some other stuff. Now I ain't got a, a big problem with that, but I know that in test course I'll have to pay attention to that. And the Grand Valley Speedway, I don't think that at the last race I'll have just 5 laps, like on any others. So this race was very fast, 5 minutes 36 seconds, that's good. Stats are also very interesting. And that's all, 25,000, I got a huge amount of cash. It's time for another track. Okay, the second race takes place at Laguna Seca Raceway. Again, it's gonna be so long because what we have to do? Five laps at Laguna Seca? It will possibly take about 
six minutes, three seconds, more or less. You might have a little accident on the way. Sadly, it lost second place. Tommy Kaira moved to the third one. What I like most about this Dream Cup Championship is the fact that not we have seven races, so this championship ain't gonna be so long, but rather the fact that Polyphonic Digital they didn't make the game, they also had a chance to use their imagination to create such uh, wonderful LM Edition vehicles. Yeah, sometimes based on real life cars, which uh, you may see in Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2, but in Gran Turismo 3 they had a chance to make fictional vehicles. That's great. driving very fast very fast indeed two opponents got a little problem the other three are driving pretty close to each other yeah sometimes I think that this Subaru Impreza land the race car might be uh, the worst opponent during Dream Cup Championship, but I also can see that S2000 ain't such a big, big player too. Ooh, this beautiful engine sound from all three. Ah. Cut the corner, forgot about the wall on the outside. That's just me. Ah, too wide. 
Yeah, I'm driving so fast, I'm a wild driver. I am the wild one. Oh yeah, I'm the wild one. Yeah, that was really fast driving. A Rx7 LM race car and it's 2000. Decided to enter the pit stop. Also, Altez LM race car. So I think all these cars have very bad tires. Hmm, not all of them. Rx7 got a chance to keep the second place. They possibly keep kept the second place. Who knows? Yeah, he actually had a chance to get away from other opponents for a safe distance. Okay, let's see the stats. How good it was this time. ZZ2 got a third place, S2004 place, FTOLM and Alteza. Let's take 25,000 again. And it's time for a third race in this championship. Yeah. All Japan cars, dream cars versus. Japan GT and a very fast sports car but yeah we have now special stage round 5 so this race ain't gonna be so bad so difficult and so long let's give it a try okay Perfect overtaking! Get out of my way, you champs! I have a race to win! Even though I have this traction control system drifting here, it's not a big problem. It's not very difficult to do so. Ah! Little crash! One minute twenty two seconds. That's a good time. Yeah, I got away from these opponents. Good distance from them. Again, they will crash through the wall.
this engine sound and almost 300 kilometers. Now it's all right. A huge leap distance from this on the on the S two thousand. And as always, a lot of these people decided to enter the pit stop. The Mazda RX-7 again got a second place. Luckily, they're all gonna, they all gonna go into the pit area. Now all of them set it to enter the pit area, as I said before. Oh, not all of them. Interesting. And then the two got a second place. What a surprise. And I have to watch out because my tire is up. Hit it up too much with this way of driving I had. <laughs> Perfect. One minute fourteen seconds. Hmm. Now we have nice stats. Mazda X7 got the last place. So it's now exactly with Mitsubishi FTO. ZZ2 got 16 points, Alteza is at the last place, and S2000 got 8 points. Not much else to say. Okay. Race 4 is on. Race 4 takes place at Aprigol Hill. We have five laps here. It's gonna be a nice show. Okay.
the main problem with the fast cars. You have to pay attention if you use too much speed. We got the raceway is not very difficult track so I don't think I should get any problems here. Maybe instead of this situation. That is long chicane. Too wide. laps out, two to go. This race ain't so difficult and also not so long. What is gonna be about six minutes, maybe less. Hmm, that was perfect. less than 1 minute 10 seconds because of this perfect chicane section the downside of driving now is the fact that I have all tires in a very bad condition Okay, there was a fast driving. One minute, ten seconds. So I think it's gonna be less than six minutes for this five laps. 
yeah almost five minutes 59 seconds and 65 to 1000 that's nice now let's see the stats because I can see that RX7 had a little problem yeah FTO got 13 points and now it's 2000 and RX7 RX Echo that's funny instead of that nothing specific okay I'm just gonna wait for the next event I mean the next three races okay now we finally got a test course so first thing I have to do is to add a huge whiff of gear ratio so I can drive faster have a huge top speed just like on any other tracks mostly in the metro Lego we have five laps again luckily my Denso SART Supra is very fast so I'm gonna lose them I know it ain't a beautiful car but with over 700 horsepower I think I can drive something like 200 miles yeah somehow they can drive faster okay so it looks like even though like I had 700 horsepower though I think this weight of this vehicle might be a biggest problem because gearbox is very good and suddenly it looks like I have a bit of trouble Okay, it's gonna be just another slipstream battle. Probably it's also downforce I have. Some other things. Okay, now I can push up to 230 miles, no, 222 and limit is out. I'm gonna slow down this. FTO a little. Okay. I wonder who is there at last place. Because I think somebody got a little problem. Oh, I forgot. It's RX7 at last place. RX7 have a very short gearbox. <laughs> it's nice that we don't have Super Impreza LM here. It will be a, a bigger problem for it. Okay. They all can pass me. It's a very good thing. I can use a slipstream and don't push too far. So 
I'm gonna keep the second place and the time is right I'm gonna speed up a little and take the first place this can't be too difficult opponents also use a break when they are too close to me just like here as you can see but we have five laps not just two That was nice. So the gearbox is okay, but possibly right height I got or downforce was responsible for loss of power. Or something else was also a reason why this had to happen. No, I maybe could have the same, situ same situation as with Turbo Sports or something like that. Whoa! That was more interesting. It's a BC FTO, got a little accident. FTO and Alteza lost their chances. But maybe they could catch up to us. Let's find out. Okay. Whoa, Mitsubishi FTO got a super boost. Okay, that was nice. A little challenge for me too. Try to push your opponents into the walls so I can use a little glitch that will slow them up a little. biggest downside I had as FTOs trying to get away from me while the others are just pushing forward okay I still have a little touch of a slipstream here okay I have boost And all of them are far away. I'll just have to push this Mitsubishi FTO into the walls. So thanks to that I might have a big chance to keep this first place for a long time. Oh! More surprise! I just made it very easy stuff. Now I just have to make sure that I will keep that because I know that all of them might use Sleepstream in order to catch me. Final lap. Alteza decided to take a pit stop. <laughs> Even though we didn't have a lot of chances to get these tires into a bad condition and the opponents they also didn't have a big problem all I know is that Mitsubishi FTO is trying to catch me while the others are still behind us trying to be fast faster than us okay 
Now I'm not sure. I think Mazda Rex 7 got a chance even to overtake to a Tezza. I'm gonna make this Mitsubishi FTO have a slipstream. The others cannot uh, catch us. I'll just use the slipstream and try to push this FTO into the walls. Find out what's gonna be. Okay, that was very fast, very easy too, because sometimes this glitch could not work. Still, I had a huge chance to make this glitch useful, and even though I had a feeling this Dance to SARD is a very bad at test course, yeah, it's a very good car on the track, and I had a chance to win this race without any problems. It could get worse, but somehow I had a solution for this problem. And also, yeah, Mazda RX-7 had a shorter gearbox, a gear ratio than anybody else, but somehow, because there's a pit stop, we got a fifth place. Yeah, Alteza made the biggest mistake. Next session, I think it's gonna be a special stage route 11. Should be interesting. Race number six. Okay, let's go. longer the ratio and the longer gearbox long range gearbox so they're gonna be so difficult and horrible now Check out. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna crash into this wall.
that was perfect. Whoa. <laughs> Great. Now it was perfect. I just wonder what's gonna happen at Grand Valley Speedway. I don't know, it ain't gonna be a simple show for some people. Because I don't have my super sleek tires. S2000 took a pit stop. Total Tesla too. <laughs> Total Tesla, the only vehicle that entered the Pedaria test course. Okay, final lap. Now I can't make any mistake if I want to be the best lap time on this track.
do is just get into the long straight and finish this race. That was too easy. Okay, RX7 again got fifth place. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, so we have only one track to finish. It's gonna be a very difficult one. I can tell you that. The last track we have is Grand Valley Speedway reversed, but we have 7 laps instead of 5. This final race is gonna take me about 12 to 13 minutes and possibly maybe I'll have a chance to use a pit stop because of the tires I have. All opponents should also use a pit stop here too. I'll check that out. Often happen on this reverse track and at this S band section. Okay. First lap is out. I have only six more laps to go. Okay, so this race is very easy. You don't always be wasted at dusk rather than during daytime. All opponents are away from me. Then I have seven laps instead of five. Still, this dream car championship ain't gonna be so difficult. I'll have to use a pit stop at least once here. I know that I'm 
Good need to use a pit stop. I'm getting close to finally get the Dream Cup Championship finished. Luckily, it ain't gonna be so difficult. Thousand tell them race car RX7 are now using a pit stop. I know that all of them must use a pit stop because how oh, how fast these tires get busted up. But I know I should also use a pit stop. Too wide again. Over one minute of lead distance from Mitsubishi FTO this time. That's interesting. But I know I'll have to use a pit stop at this lap. seconds of lead distance. Toyota Altesa race car now is the pit stop. I should do it too. Seriously, these tires are getting in very bad condition. Luckily I don't have to care about lead distance. 
because they have a huge one. While they are changing your tires, you can also rev up your engine. Just if you're aboard. Yeah, in real life, uh, it's not working like that. Not so bad. But I guess I'll have to do something. I still have one minute of lead distance. And it looks like not all of them get a chance to use a pit stop. I don't know why. And to be honest, I don't really care about that. Mm -hmm, too wide again. to Altesa is here. <laughs> the last place, probably. Jackass. It's a big jackass. Seven flap, one pit stop and still got a little problem with cornering. It was just miserable. And also, this is the vehicle that <laughs> entered the pizzeria, the test course. Yeah, I got to repeat this another time because it's very hilarious. And stupid. Just like the situation where RX-7 and S2000 decided to enter pit stop before the final lap. Seriously. Luckily, I won this championship I have. S2000 got one lap gap. The final results not too bad. Okay, I got some cash. I'll get some more cash, maybe even hit one million. Not really. Got one hundred fifty thousand. But the price cut is going to be interesting. It's okay. It's not so bad. Even though I would not say that the white Mitsubishi FDO might be a very good one. Kind of reminds me of the Scoria white color. Whatever. With red tires, it will be perfect. Okay. So, what else we have 
we have GT World Championship from Amateur Lego. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this red tires for FTO. Yokohama, my favorite wheel brand. Okay, so now I have a perfect car. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next part with the Gran Turismo World Championship. I'm gonna find a finish the Amateur Lego. Get two good price cars, I hope at least. And also make sure that I'll not do any mistakes. So stay tuned for the next part. I'll see you soon.